Welcome back to the show. You know, once you catch a fish and you keep a fish and you want to eat a fish, you got to know how to clean a fish. So today, we're going to show y'all how to clean a red fish and an old speckled trout fish right here on Fishing Time. We're going to show you how to fillet it. We're going to show you how to bone it. We're going to show you how to skin it. So pay close attention. Because I got one red fish and I got one speckled trout fish. Nice red fish. That fish probably goes, uh, that fish probably go probably eight to 10 pounds. Nice red fish. And we do have our lonesome speckled trout fish. So hang tight. We had the big bite yesterday and now we got the clean fish today. Right here on Fishing Time. Real important, real important to have a sharp knife. And with a redfish, he's got, he's got big scales. Big scales, tough skin, tough fish to cut. So you want to be real careful because they do have fins. You see those fins right there? Those fins will spin you and stick the living daylights out of you. So we're going to be real careful when you're dealing with these redfish and these fins on these fish. So what you want to do when you start out with a redfish, you want to try to pop a few scales on the top side. Go all the way to the top. Ride that backbone all the way down. All the way through. It's very important to ride the backbone. So what I'm doing now, as you can see, I'm going from one side and gently going down the other side with my fingers are cupped in. There's no way that I can get cut. So my fingers are cupped and I'm rolling the fish back and I'm using that as leverage and I'm working down the rib cage. All right, I always leave the one side on because that'll give you leverage on the other side. So you'll simply flip it over. Start from the tail, always going away with it so you can't get cut. Ride it back up, same way you did on the other side, but you come in a different way. Always make sure the knife is going away from you. And you want to ride that backbone. all the way down and like I said be careful with these fins you want to be real careful that you don't go all the way in there because you're liable to get stuck ride it through roll it back ride the rib cage and I like to use a big knife I mean I guess this is probably about an eight or nine inch knife you know you can use a smaller knife but I prefer a bigger knife on bigger fish Kind of jab it, get it started, let the knife work for you. Don't force the knife. Let the knife work for you. Look at that. There's one side. We'll work on the other side. And as you can see, that knife is always going away from me. I can't get cut. So look, boy, look at the slab on that bad boy. I mean, you can just about read a newspaper off that fish right there. That's how you really get the most bang for your buck if you take your time on cleaning these fish. I'll come back. I got me some skinning pliers. Squeeze it on the back and then just ride the skin On the bottom side, and as you can see, there's 
not much meat on that skin side. I mean, you, you want to try to get as much meat off the skin as you possibly can. Now, I'll use this as my cutting board. When I come back, I'm going to bone it out. I'm going to come over here on the side, feel it. Usually there's a pin bone right in the middle. Cut that out. Got one little piece right here. And there you go, you got a boneless fillet of redfish. Alright, we'll come over and do the other side, get our pliers. Just kind of get it started. And you want to be sure you kind of rub, you kind of forcing it down on the skin, but you're not cutting through the skin. And you just kind of let the knife work, keep shaving at it. And then, uh, lo and behold, you got you another slab of redfish. Pretty slab of redfish. I'll use that skin as my kind of a cutting board, so to speak, so I don't get any dirt on my fillets. Check it for little small pin bones, rib bones, and there you go. There you have it. That's how you clean a red fish. All right, old speckled trout fish. Speckled trout fish is a little bit different. Several ways you can do it, but I'm gonna do it the quick way. The quick way is gonna be, I'm gonna decapitate that head. Well, look at the teeth on that bad boy right there. I mean, that joker right there will take your fingertip off. So when you're dealing with speckled trout, whether you're cutting them when they're dead or alive, beware, because those teeth right there, those teeth will get you, boy. They will get you. So be careful with them teeth, especially saltwater fish. All right, so we're gonna go back down the belly section. We're gonna scrape it out. Boy, look at that. That's, that's a pretty fish right there. Pretty old speckled trout fish. And what I'll do here is I'll I'm gonna ride the backbone. And here you gotta be kind of careful because I'm kind of butterflying him open. And then bam. And then what I'll do is I'll come back in. And I'll just do a slight incision, or a small cut, I guess you'd say, on that rib cage. Because not a whole lot of meat in speckled trout rib cage. And then I'll come back. Got to be real careful with this piece right here, because it is going towards your hand. And you're kind of breaking them rib bones and keeping that knife. You see how I have my hand? It's always up. You don't want to be cutting you know, with your finger down. You want to cut with them fingers up so if something does slip, you're good to go. And i tell you what I will do with a speckled trout. A speckled trout, there is some meat on the speckled trout, and I like to eat old fried speckled trout bones, meat on the bone, and I love to eat them tails. So I'll daggum cut me off. Boy, that speckled trout tail be good, I'm telling you, boys. I love to gnaw on that tail. And then I'll also break a couple of sections, and I'll fry this backbone up because there is a little bit of meat on the backbone. Let's fry that up and eat that meat right off the bone. Of course, there ain't much meat on the bone. So I'll come back and do a little small incision on that rib cage. We'll get our skinning pliers out again. Ride it gently. Now, speckled trout skin is a lot thinner than a redfish skin. And then, lo and behold, you got you a skinless. Speckled trout below. And we'll come back and do this other one. Same exact way. Use your pliers. If you don't have any pliers, you can always do a small incision on the back part of the tail. 
Let me show you a little trick if you don't have pliers. Cut you a little spot to where you can stick your finger on there and that way you can hold that fillet, that skin, you just ride it gently. There you go, there you have it. You got your speckled trout, so you get a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat right there off of two fish. So even though it was a slow day catching, you know, we caught bluefish, skipjacks, caught a nice red fish, nice speckled trout fish, but look at all the meat that you have right there. I mean, that right there, probably two fish feed. I bet the two fish right there probably feed a family of four or five people. So once you catch a fish, you decide to keep a fish, and you want to eat a fish, you now know how to clean a fish. Right here on Fishing Time. We hope y'all enjoyed the show. See y'all real soon. See us at Lartic Seafood. Thank you.